Welcome back to the channel, Saints. I hope you're being very happy and blessed. And I wanted to share today some Bible readings that I had got today during the Seneca or the Lord's Supper. And before we start, I just wanted to pray this prayer, which is from St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. And I wanted to share um, this uh, scriptures that I got today and I just wanted to say that sometimes we get so excited or anxious to hear what God says through other brothers and we forget that we have a gift from heaven called the Bible where the words of God are written we need to open that book and read it ourselves so that we may not be fooled by others. I invite you today to open up your Bibles and start reading because soon we will have to throw away our cell phones and computers and we will solemnly just rely on the Holy Spirit and we will also be able to communicate to each other that way so let's dust off our Bibles and let's learn what Jesus has to say to us remember remember Hebrews 4 12 for the Word of God is alive and active sharper than any double-edged sword it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit joints and marrow it judges throughout thoughts and attitudes of the heart okay and so i'm gonna start with the St. Matthew, chapter 5, a uh, Sermon on the Mountain. And seeing the crowds, he went up the mountain. And when he was seated, his disciples came to him. And opening his mouth, he taught them this. Blessed are the poor in spirit. For there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the earth. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for justice, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who suffer persecution for justice' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men reproach you and persecute you and, and speaking falsely. Say all manners of evil against you for my sake. Rejoice and exult because your reward is greater in heaven. For so did they persecute the prophets who were before you. The disciples compared to salt and light. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its strength, what shall it be salted with? 
It is no longer of any use but to be thrown out and trodden underfoot by man. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a lamp and put it under the measure, but upon the lamp stand, so as to give light to all in the house. Even so, let your light shine before men, in order that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. The Old Law and the New do not think that I came that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For amen I say to you, till heaven and earth passes away, not one jot or one title shall be lost from the law till all things have been accomplished. Therefore, whoever does away with one of these least commandments and so teaches men shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever carries them out and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you, that unless your justice exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. Against Anger You have heard that it was said to the ancients, Those shall not kill, and, what, and that whatsoever shall kill shall be li liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother shall be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, shall be liable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, Though fool, shall be liable to the fire of Jedhana. Jedhana. Therefore, if thou art offering thy gift at the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother has anything against thee, leave thy gift before the altar, and go first to be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift. Come to terms with thy opponent quickly while thou art with him on the way. Least thy opponent deliver thee to the judge and the judge to the officer and thou be cast into prison. Amen, I say to thee, Thou wilt not come out from it until thou hast paid the last penny. Chastity of Mind and Body You have heard that it was said to the ancients, ancients Thou shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that one who so much as looks with lust at a woman has already committed adultery with her in his heart. So if thy right eye is an occasion of sin to thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is better for thee that one of thy members should perish than that they, thy whole body should be thrown into hell. And if thy right hand is an occasion of sin to thee, cut it off and cast it from thee, for it is better for thee that one of thy members should be lost than that the whole body should go into hell. 
divorce. It was said, moreover, whoever puts away his wife, let him give her a written notice or dismissal. But I say to you that everyone who puts away his wife, save on account of immorality, causes her to commit adultery. And he who marries a woman who has been put away commits adultery. Concerning oaths, again, you have heard that it was said to the ancients, Those shall not swear falsely, but fulfill thy oath to the Lord. But I say to you not to swear at all, neither by heaven, for it is the throne of God, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither do thou swear by thy head, for thou cannot make one hair white or black. But let your speech be yes, yes, no, no, and whatever is beyond these comes from the evil one. The New Law of Talion You have heard it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you not to resist the evildoer. On the contrary, if someone strikes thee on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would go to law with thee and take thee thy tunic, let him take thy cloak as well. And whoever forces thee to go for one mile, go with him too. To him who asks for thee, give, and from him who did borrow of thee, do not turn away. The Love of Enemies You have heard that it was said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and shall hate thy enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who persecute and calumniate you, so that you may be children of your Father in heaven, who makes his Son to rise on the good and the evil, and send rain on the just and the unjust. For if you love those that love you, what reward shall you have? Do not even the publicans do that? And if you salute your brethren only, what are you doing more than others? Do not, do not even the Gentiles do that? You therefore are to be perfect, even as your father, heavenly Father is perfect. Purity of intention. Take heed not to do your good before men, in order to be seen by them. Otherwise, you shall have no reward with your Father in heaven. Alms giving. Therefore, when thou gives alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and streets in order that they may be honored by men. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when thou givest alms, do not let thy left hand know what thy right hand is doing, so that thy alms may be given in secret, and thy Father, who sees in secret, will reward thee. Prayer Again, when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites who love to pray standing in the synagogues and at the street corners in order that they may be seen by men. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when thou prayest, 
Go into thy room, and closing thy door, pray to thy father in secret, and thy father, who sees in secret, will reward thee. The Lord's Prayer But in praying, do not multiply words, as the Gentiles do. For they think that by saying a great deal, they will be heard. So do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. In this ma manner, therefore, shall you pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our deb debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive men their offenses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you your offenses. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive you for, offen for your offenses. Fasting. And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites who disfigure their faces in order to appear to men as fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But though, when thou dost fast, anoint thy head and wash thy face, so that thou mayest not be seen fasting by men, but by thy father who is in sea. Is who is in secret, and thy father who sees in secret will reward thee. True riches, do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth, where rust and moth consume, and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither rust nor moth consumes, nor thieves break in and steal. For where thy treasure is, there also will thy heart be. The lamp of the body is the eye. If the eye be sound, thy whole body will be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body will be full of darkness. Therefore, if the light that is in thee is darkness, how great is the darkness itself. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will stand by one and despite the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Trust in God. Therefore I say to you, do not be anxious for your life, what you shall eat, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. Is not the life a greater thing than the food, and the food than the clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not, are not you of much more value than they? But which of you, by being anxious about it, can add to this statue a single cubit and as for clothing why are you anxious consider how the lilies of the field grow they neither toil nor spin yet I say to you that not even Solomon in all his glory was arrayed like one of these but if God who clothes the grass of the field, which flourishes today, but tomorrow it thrown into the oven. How much more you, O oh you of little faith! Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink? Or what are we to put on? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. 
for your father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his justice, and all these things shall be given you besides. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will have anxieties of its own. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Avoiding judgments. Do not judge that you may not be judged. For with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. And with what measure you measure, is it shall be measured to you. But why dost thou see the speck in thy brother's eye, and yet dost not consider the beam in thy own eye? Or how can thou say to thy brother, Let me cast out the speck from thy eye, and behold, there is a beam in thy own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam from thy own eye, and then thou wilt see clearly to cast out the speck from thy brother's eye. Do not give to dogs what is holy, neither cast your pearls before swine, or they will trample under will trample them under their feet and turn and tear you. Power of prayer Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened for to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it shall be opened. Or what man is there among you, who if his son asks him for a loaf, will hand him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will hand him a serpent? Therefore, if you, evil as you are, Know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who asked him? The Golden Rule Therefore, all that you wish men to do to, to you, even so do you also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Obstacles to Virtue Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and bored is the way that leads to destruction, and many there are to enter that way. How narrow the gate, and close the way that leads to life, and few there are who find it. Beware of false prophets. Who come to you in sheep's clothes, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. By their fruits you will know them. Do men gather grapes from thorns or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name, and cast out devils in thy name, and work many miracles in thy name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Conclusion of the Sermon Everyone therefore who hears these my words and acts upon them shall be likened to a wise man who built his house on rock. And the rain fell, and the food came, and the windows blew and beat against the house. 
but it did not fall because it was founded on rock. And everyone who hears these my words and does not act upon them shall be likened to a foolish man who built his house on sand. And the rain fell and the fl floods came and the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell and it was utterly ruined. And it came to pass when Jesus had finished these words that the crowds were astonished at his teaching. For he was teaching them as one having authority and not as their scribes and Pharisees. And I will stop right there. <laughs> I mean, I could keep on going, but I will stop right there. And I hope you like this, uh, saints. And if you would like for me to keep reading, please comment and let me know or write me an email. And let's pray three Hail Marys. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tui mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tu Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre Dei, ora por nobis peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tui mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tu Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre Dei, ora por nobis peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tui mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tu Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre Dei, ora por nobis peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. May God bless you, saints, and see you next time. And viva Cristo Rey.